Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to actually talk about the 2D arrays and the dynamic arrays in uh, Excel VBA as we promised in the previous video. So let us start our discussion with the 2D arrays first and then we will talk about the dynamic arrays. So we know that uh, what a 2D array looks like in the memory as we just saw from the previous video, we took an example to demonstrate it. So that's how a 2D array looks. And um, if you take a simple, uh, if you think a little, then you will get that this 2D array is actually like a matrix. Um, if you know about the matrix, then it's good. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you that a matrix is uh, something uh, in a 2D format that is going that is used to hold numbers or any other thing. And um, it is of the format P cross Q, which means P is the number of rows and Q is the number of columns. The total elements in a matrix are P cross Q, the product of P and Q. So if we look at this, then there are two rows, uh, this two rows and two columns in this 2D array as well and um, the number of elements it holds is 2 into 2 which is 4 so a 2d array is uh, simply referred to as a matrix so let's see that how can we declare and use a 2d array in visual basic bring up your vba editor uh, the shortcut you need to use for this purpose is alt f11 from the keyboard now once your vba editor is up and running go to the insert tab to insert a new module and let's rename it as 2d array so that you are able to recognize it afterwards now this is how you name a 2d array you cannot use the number 2 because that's invalid name for a module so 2d array is what i'm going to name this a procedure as well and then i'm going to write some piece of code so how can you declare a 2d array that's the first question the answer is um uh, a very simple one all you got to do is use dim then write the name of the array this is going to be b then within the parenthesis what you need to write is the number of rows comma the number of columns that is how many rows and columns you are expecting that array to have i'm expecting it to have three rows and three columns so the size that i'm going to give over here is two comma two why because its indexing starts from zero so when i give two as a size then it would be holding the index as zero one and two and zero one and two for the rows and the columns and it would be holding three and three that is a total of nine elements so that is why the size i'm going to mention is two comma two and when i have mentioned the size the next thing vb expects me to do is specify its data type so let's use the keyword as and specify its data type to be integer and then as soon as you press enter then uh, congratulations you have successfully declared a two-dimensional array with three cross three size now once you've declared an array what we are going to do is um, actually um hold some values in it okay so what is going to be the possible indexes so let's see the possible indexes for this one uh, 0 0 0 1 0 2 and um, like here also it's going to be 1 2 and here it's going to be b 2 0 b 2 1 and b 2 2 so that's is what is going to be the index of all these three uh, or all of these nine elements okay three rows and three columns so let's bring up our vba editor again and uh, let's just to declare two variables dim within the answer dim i as integer and dim j as integer the reason why we are declaring two variables is because uh, these two are going to be the loop iterators two variables because there are two dimensions so that's a convention that uh, how many dimensions you want is going to be the name uh, the number of the variables you need to declare whenever you are trying to go through a loop so let's start first of all we are going to loop through i so for i equals 0 to 2 and let's create a next then we're going to uh, use a nested for loop that is a for loop within a for loop okay so let's just ident it for j uh, equals 0 to 2 
and let's just close it through next and whatever the piece of code we write within this would be actually executed again and again and again okay so what we are trying to write is b okay i of j so the value we are trying to uh, add in it should be the value of j plus i into 10 so that's the value that i want to add that whatever is the sum of j and i i want to just multiply it by 10 and i want to store it in the corresponding values so that's how you can just actually uh, initialize the uh, two-dimensional array once you've done that you gotta show or you gotta print its result so just copy it and paste it now it's going to be same uh, except from here you need to store the values or you need to show the values in the form of a message box so it's going to be b of i j actually that's what i think it is so let's see uh, if it runs correctly or not so yeah we have got an error and the reason why we are getting this error is we need to specify like this okay and this b i comma j that's uh, how we declare the array right so let's just run it the first value that uh, is of b00 is 0 then is 10 0 1 you can see 0 plus 1 is 1 into 10 then it's going to be 20 over here then it is going to be 10 1 0 then it is going to be 20 again 1 1 and it's going to be 30 1 2 then it's going to be 20 again 2 0 then it's going to be 30 to 1 and then it is going to be 40 to 2 so that's how the two dimensional array works and that is uh, all about the 2d array that you need to know also if you want to make some changes to the code you can do that you can experiment it in your own way so that was about the 2d array and the next topic that we have is of a dynamic array so as the name suggests uh, a dynamic array uh, is an array that um, is dynamic in nature means uh, its value or its size is not fixed like right now we declared a 2d array so its size was fixed that is going to hold three rows and three columns and also we declared a single dimensional array whose size was fixed as three that is it is going to hold four elements no matter what so uh, there may be situations when uh, where you are declaring an array but you do not know what its size is going to be so in that case you got to use uh, a concept of a, a dimensional uh, a dynamic array actually that is given to you through visual basic so let us see that how it works uh, in the vba let's go to insert and insert a new module and let's rename it as dynamic array and uh, go to the code pin of dynamic array and create a sub procedure as dynamic array open and close the parenthesis now this is uh, how we be recognizes it as a sub procedure let's declare an array say c so that's how you declare an array uh, but when you are declaring an array you need not specify the size of the array because the reason why you are declaring an array dynamic array is you are not sure of its size so you do not need to declare the size then you can write any number of piece of code that you want and suppose after a few lines of coding you realize that now i know that what is going to be the size of this array then you can resize this array using a statement known as redim then uh, after this redim you need to specify the uh, name of the array and within parenthesis its size like this so as soon as you do that what will happen is the c will now hold three variables or three values that is 0 1 and 2 indexes and uh, that's how you can actually declare uh, or actually redeclare an array so redimension means redeclaring an array uh, that is actually uh, used for the dynamic arrays itself now you can just uh, assign some values to it c0 is suppose 30 c1 is suppose 60 and c2 is suppose 90 okay then uh, what we're going to do is actually use a for loop to print those values i equals to 0 to 2 next 
and within this we are going to just print the values through a message box c of i okay now let's just declare i as an integer as well perfect now let's run it 30 60 90 okay now after the assigning of the value suppose you decide to just increase the dimensions of the variable c or the rac to 3 now if we just try to run it then what happens is we get 0 as the value these three values as 0 why because when we are read uh, using this statement read him then the previous values of this array c are lost okay so if you need to preserve these values you need to use the keyword preserve then what happens is these things would be preserved and let's just iterate it till 3 and assign 3 c of 3 to something as 120 so let's see what happens right now 30 perfectly fine 60 90 and 120 so if you need to preserve the values while re um, declaring an array or changing its size you need to use this keyword preserve so that's all for the video in which you learned about the 2d arrays and the dynamic arrays in vb that's for the 1d uh, dynamic array but if you want you can also do it for 2d or multi-dimensional arrays as well thanks